And now it's time for some sticky, friendly competition. I'm here with Chef Dave from NBCC. Uh, there's a 40-week culinary course that they do, and they have uh, some of their students up to take a friendly challenge. So I'm going to get Dave to tell us a little bit about what it is. Sure. Uh, so what we've got, we've got three dishes happening in the back here. We've got two savory, we've got one sweet. Every component on every plate uh, incorp incorporates molasses somehow. Um, all very different, sort of a hard thing to judge. It's more of a friendly challenge, but it's a people's choice. So we've got some bags, we've got some stars. So after you have a taste, you can drop your vote in. And uh, it's a little bit of a recognition piece for the students, but it's all for, it's all for fun. So one, one thing we have happening right behind me is we have a molasses infused sausage, uh, which Kyle, the gentleman behind me, uh, made that yesterday. Um, they have a, a molasses deep brown beans with some pork. Uh, they've got some small onion rings, a little bit of molasses garnish, a little fresh arugula. And over here on the other side, we've got Matt, and he's doing a um, molasses and rum cured hot smoked haddock. Wow. Yeah, with a, with a sort of a southern style slaw that incorporates some molasses as well. So it's sort of sweet and sour, really, really nice. And then on the, on the end, we have our, our sweet dish, which is a molasses twill painted with white chocolate, a molasses uh, mousse, some strawberry leather, a little bit of molasses drizzle, and the added bonus for that is it's all gluten free. So we're very, uh, we're very wary of some of the food requirements that, that people are, are requesting in the restaurant industry. So we're, we're steering towards doing some interesting things using uh, sort of rice flour and all of the other products that don't, that don't contain gluten. So it's, uh, they're having a good time and uh, it's, yeah, please enjoy. Excellent. So I guess whoever wins the competition tonight, it'll be an easy grade for them, won't it? Absolutely. A plus. A plus. Thanks so much, Chef Dave. My pleasure. My pleasure. All right. I am here with Sonia. We talked last year and had an awesome time here at the Fundy Food Festival. Always. Yes, it was great. So she's going to tell me a little bit about the One Stop Jamaica Patty Shop. Um, and also, they just opened up over on the Kingston Peninsula on Saturdays. So if you need any of her food, you can find it there every Saturday. So Sonia, tell me a little bit about what you have here today. Well, I got four of the uh, demand dishes, sweet potato pie, the rum cake, gourmet ginger snaps with fresh grated orange rind, and I got what's called Jamaican bun. It's a sweet bread made with stout and anisette and honey. And what you have in your hand is the sweet potato pie, and we like to call it the Oprah special. So, is this what Oprah raves about? Oh, Oprah raves about it all the time. She talks about her hips. <laughs> Will I become really successful and like a TV host if I have a bite of this and eat it all the time? Well, girl, I ate a lot of it. I should be very rich. <laughs> I keep trying. I'm still eating. <laughs> rich in humor. Rich in humor. For sure. Every day. <laughs> Huh? This actually reminds me a lot of pumpkin pie. It does. It has a lot of the same spices, but the texture is completely different. It's light. It's smooth. Pumpkin is thready. It's heavy. You know what I'm saying? This is actually really delicious. I thought the oat cakes were one of my favorites, and this is kind of hitting the notch and coming in close up there. Um, so besides this, what is the favorite item you have here on the table today? Okay. Bes uh, besides the J Jamaica Bob Marley flag, of course. Uh, of course, you know, <laughs> number one. But yeah, my favorite on the table would be the uh, Jamaican bun. Now, I'll tell you the story about the Jamaican bun. I love it. It's really called Easter bun in Jamaica. They serve it at Easter time, and they butter it and uh, eat that bread with the fish. That is really neat. I feel like I have to visit yeah. Jamaica now. Oh, of course. Any reason is good to visit Jamaica. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well, you know what? I'm going to have to finish up this interview so I can enjoy the rest of this amazing sweet potato pie. Thank you. We got this gentleman waiting for his goodies. It looks like he's a rum cake man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Sonia. Thank you, sweetheart. <laughs> I'm back, and I'm now here with Greg Pringle from the Cape Breton Oat Cake Society. One of my personal favorites, I love oat cakes, and these are some of the city's best. So, Greg, tell me a little bit about how the Cape Breton Oat Cake Society came to be. Well, a um, little over a year ago, um, I was a company I used to work for laid me off just before Christmas, and I've been baking most of my life, and everybody who's tried my oat cakes told me, oh my God, you need to sell these. So when I got laid off, um, the tr truthful story, I needed to make money for rent. <laughs> hey, that happens. It's important for many of us. And the first week I did it, I sold 14 dozen. Second week I told, sold 76 dozen. 
No, uh, no, 126 dozen, sorry, second week, and then 60 dozen third week, right at Christmas. Wow, so things have really gone exponential for you in the world of the oat cakes. Um, so tell me a little bit about the ingredients and the health uh, benefits. They're all just basic, wholesome ingredients, only six main ingredients, rolled oats, flour, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of salt. Instead of using butter, lard, or shortening, I use canola oil uh. and a little bit of water, and that's it. And then with uh, the other extra flavors, all I did was added in dried cranberries, dried apple slices and cinnamon, uh, lemon zest, choc uh, chocolate chips and orange zest. Then I started having some fun with things. I did, you know, score toffee, peanut butter, uh, cocoa nib, cherry, blueberry, uh, what else other? I, I also do a peanut, an almond, uh, Christmas time I do candy cane, and my latest and greatest one that started, I have two couple more in development, I'm doing a super hippie mix, which is a combination of flaxseed, chia seed, and hemp heart. That's great. That's huge right now, flaxseed and hemp heart. So yes. that's great. And uh, I'm, I'm working on a maple one also. Excellent. And you're at the city market every weekend, right? Yes, I'm there every Saturday uh, from 8 o'clock till whenever I sell out. Perfect. I can't wait to dive into one right now. All right. Thank you, Greg. You're welcome. Have a fabulous night.